Uh, Adrian, 4-0 victory to kick off your inaugural Leaks Cup campaign. Uh, what's the emotion feel, feeling like right now? Do you think? Pretty good. Played an hour with them, man. Was it? Played an hour? Thought the players were magnificent. Really proud of them. Thought the crowd were unbelievable. A really good night for Minnesota United tonight. How much more uh, filling is this, given that you were down to 10 men so early in the match and to come out and score three goals after being down? Well, yeah, you, you you look at that, but I look at the body of work that the people of players have done. You know, that even the guys who come on put in an incredible shifter. And like, um, I couldn't be more proud of the way that they went about it. We spoke about trying to use the LA FC game as a as a barometer of what's acceptable. And I don't mean with the ball, because I know we're as good as anybody with the ball when we play well. But the energy levels and the determination to defend, people to help each other out, people to do the jobs, people like him doing both sides of the ball. And then every time the ball goes in the box, making 60-yard runs to get in the box, and then you get your reward. I didn't think he'd ever score with a header, I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, obviously we're pleased. We're pleased. <laughs> um, what can you say about sort of the offensive surge? Uh, the, well, the fact that he scored on a header, uh, Reynoso setting him up with that beautiful great, cross. Great first goal. Great finish. Um, as I say, I'd be lying if I said we drew it up where Ray went down the wing but on the right wing, crossed it with his right foot and he headed it in. But it was great play. Uh, great ball in from Ray, a great header, great finish. But they have to have the willingness to get there. That's what gets you the goal. The fact that you want to get in, the, you know, we spoke about getting in goal scoring positions all the time. And he's doing it again tonight. He's got his rewards. Bongi, what was the players' resolve once you guys go down to 10 men? Obviously, you guys move some of the shape around, but what was kind of the mindset of the players for that last hour? Uh, I would say our mindset because, like, we, I think in which, which tournament last time we went 10 men down in, in Houston? The Alpha Cup? Yeah. So, we like, it happened like first half. Uh, last time Kevin got the red card first half. So, we were struggling because like we, we were one nil down. So, today it was, it was better because we were leading. So, we had, we had to protect what we have first half so that we can come with a better plan for, for second half. Adrian, um, do you expect more about Puebla? I mean, some players sometimes they didn't no, make I, a good effort. I, I, the game. I, I don't really think it's my place to talk about Puebla. You know, I, I'm, I was so wrapped up in my own team that I, I, you know, I didn't really think about them that much. I thought they had a 10 minute spell before we got the goal, actually, where their shape started to drag us around a little bit. Um, but you know, Bongi got a really good goal, great finish, and then after that, we it was a case of us being disciplined, staying in our shape. We didn't really want to change it too much, so we stayed like a four-four-one. And um, you know, even in the first half, Ray kept playing in that left-hand pocket and kept getting the ball. And you know, Pookie had a couple of chances in the first half as well. So um, no, I, I you know, I, I'm more concerned with the way that we approached the game, and we were excellent in all departments. Uh, Bongi, obviously you and Ray were very much in sync tonight. Um, how long did that sort of take to kind of, you guys get sort of re reacquainted with each other on the field after he returned, and how do you just feel about the way you guys are working together right now? It's, I, I feel like it's, it's easy for me to play with Ray because uh, he understands me. That I can play short. Sometimes he can play the ball behind for me, then I run. Then he always like ready for for the cutback, or he's always uh, waiting for the ball in the right place. So for me, when I get there in the box, I have to lift my head, look for him, or look for for Timu. But I haven't fight Timu, so I've been finding Ray in the in the right spot. So even last season it happened. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Two questions, Tenemos dos preguntas. Two questions, Sergio. Adelante, por favor. Hi, thank you very much. This is Sergio Venegas from the Portrese.com, Mexico City. First of all, congratulations with the victory. Second, 
you almost have one player all the game. So is this the real level of your team and what you need to adjust to get to the perfect moment or the perfect level you wish to have this team to the tournament? And I wish the best of the lot. For the coach. Sorry. Can I repeat that? Can I repeat what? The question? What is repeating uh, la pregunta, por favor? Please repeat the question. I'm the volume up a little bit. Oh, of course. The, you have one player all the game, almost. Uh, I don't You have all the, one player less almost all the game. So this is the real level from your team and where you need to adjust to reach that level that you expect for all the competition. And I wish you the best of the luck. Well, you know, this 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 group that played this evening with Reynoso and Puki, um, Kirving's come back and we played a Sony in a, in a slightly different role. Um, well, if you look at the last two or three performances, they've been excellent. I'd like to think this is just the beginning of this group for the second half of the season. Um, we feel as though there's, there's, there's goals in this group, but the energy levels is the thing that's really, really pleased me and the, the defensive mindset for everybody to do their job and to help each other. And if we do that, we will always score goals. We have too much talent in forward areas not to score goals. Uh, la próxima, José Mar Armando, adelante, por favor. Second question, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, my question is for um, Coach Heath. This is Jose Rodriguez from the Porto Total USA. I wanted to ask you about um, Reynoso, of course, uh, an outstanding performance tonight. Um, but um, I, I would like for you to explain a little bit. You know, we, we always see him and, and the individual talent is there. But uh, from your standpoint, how does he help this team collectively move around? And how does he help uh, the rest of his teammates, you know, perform at a higher level when he plays at the level that he did tonight? Thank you. He's a he's a special player. I've said it, you know, since we've had him. And he, since he's come back, he's been really engaged. He's been training really hard. He looks in really good physical condition. And he does the thing that's the hardest thing in football. He scores goals and he makes goals. That's why they all go for the most money and get paid the most money. It's, it's quite simple. He's a special player. And when he's in this, in, in his condition he's in now, And the mental mindset that he's in now, there is not many better players in North America or, South, or South America. Question for Bongi here. Uh, Bongi, did you realize that tonight hit the 10 goal mark on the season for you in all competitions? No. How does it feel to hit 10 goals before, you know, roughly the halfway mark of the campaign uh, compared to last season, uh, compared to, you know, the start of the campaign? You're at 10 goals now. What does that mean? Uh, it means a lot to me, like, uh, so it, as I said, like, it means a lot. Uh, I feel like, um, it gives me the, the confidence to go for more each and every game, but it haven't happened. Like, maybe I'll score today, then the following game I don't score, then I'll score after that game. So I, I need to be consistent with my, with my goals. So I need to work hard so that I can score each and every game. Yeah. We spoke about it in the off-season. Yeah, yeah. When he came back, I said, to go to the next level, because I know he's going to work both sides of the ball, you've got to be getting between seven and 15 goals a season to be a top-class wide guy. And he's taking that on board. But his energy levels to keep getting in there, to keep getting in these positions, to give himself the opportunity, that's, what he's, that's why he's got it. It's because of his energy and his willingness to run. And that's why if he continues to do that, he will score more goals. Coach, you're always on top of your team to be disciplined, but you've had another yellow card tonight. Do the players give you grief about that? Well, they do, but I keep getting yellow cards for some of the most ridiculous decisions I've ever seen in my life. I, I don't think there was anybody in, in the crowd who didn't think the one on Reynoso was a yellow card. But we are breaking. Yeah, and maybe I've got to stop waving my arms about it. But the two seconds later, they get a yellow card for exactly the same thing that just happened a minute earlier. So, not sure Missy Z will be too pleased when I get fined, but there you go. Zoom and then time for one or two more. Y ahora, a la última, la última en Zoom, Alejandro Cardenas, por favor, adelante. Hi, uh, uh, good night, Alejandro Cárdenas from High Sports. Uh, I want to ask uh, both of you, uh, 
what is your reflection about this game, about the rival that you watch, obviously, on the field? And what is your uh, reflection about the weaknesses and the strengths about the rival Puebla? Thank you. Well, I, I think, you know, I, I said this week that I think this tournament will grow. I think it's going to be a terrific tournament. I said before the, 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 the game tonight that I don't think it's ever been as close as it is now between the level between Liga MX and MLS. And the results in the last couple of days have shown that. And um, they have really good players. They have they're tactically very, very sound. Um, but I think that we are closing the gap. When I first arrived in the States 13 years ago, that was not the case. And every year it's just gradually got closer and closer. And there are some really good teams in Mexico, as I say, tactically sound, um, very, very good players. Um, but, the, but we are getting closer and closer. Adrian, did you get a chance to look at uh, the replay of uh, Boxall's red card? And what did you think about that? I haven't had this chance to see it. Boxy reacted to something that the other guy did, so he knows that's... Will you look at it before you decide whether or not you're going to appeal? I'll have to have a look at it, yeah. I, I, I haven't seen it since. I was going to ask about the red card as well, but um, how did you get... Bongi, how did you feel about the, the level of play? Was there any sort of differences in, in the style or anything that, that contrasted with the Liga MX team as opposed to playing so many MLS games? I feel like it's... The the standard is not the same. I think when on the MLS is the MLS is on another level from Liga Max, you know. So I'm not undermining Liga Max, but today it shows that we are far better than Liga Max. Or I would say so. So yeah, that's a good soundbite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it on that one. And on that note, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Bongi killed. Him.